In today's video, we're going to look at the black exantic gene. So the black exantic gene is totally different to your normal exantics. So they're not compatible and how they look are totally different compared to your normal uh, VPI or MJ line exantics. So we're going to look at some of the black exantic animals we have produced and some of the projects we're working on. So guys, let's start off the video by showing you guys and playing Exantic. So this is an MJ line Exantic head pied uh, male. And as you guys can see is the MJ line actually keeps its coloration very, very good. Um, the MJ line Exantics uh, compared to other Exantic lines I have seen tend to keep the coloration as adults a lot better and keep the silver interaction or silver coloration they had as hatchlings um, much better compared to all other Exantics. So as you guys can see, it's uh, the light coloration of gray, um, which is the exantic gene bleeding through. So guys, if we compare the black exantic to your exantic, so here's the black exantic on my left hand side, and then here is the normal exantic. So another clear difference I actually saw is the black exantics and sometimes has got a head stamp, a lighter head stamp, as you guys can see is this dot on the head, which is a character I've actually seen with some of the black exantics. Not all of them have got the, the head stamps, but most of them actually hatch out with this type of head stamp. And as you guys, if you guys compare the two animals, you can see there's a very slight difference. Um, the coloration of this MJ line exantic is a bit more silver in, in my opinion, and then the black exantic has got a bit more of a darker look to it. So that's the two, the, the main uh, difference between the black exantic and your normal exantic. As you guys can see, is not a huge difference, but still very subtle changes to the animal, and you guys can see the difference between them. So here we've got the plain black exantic male and like you guys saw in the previous clip there's not a huge difference between the animals but like I said as they mature the black exantic seems to keep a darker coloration compared to your exantics which has got more like a silver look to them. So the black exantic the pigmentation especially the patterning on the back is a lot darker and a lot more vivid compared to your normal um, exantics and then of course the coloration between the saddles is a different kind of gray I won't say it's um, a silver but I would say it's more like a metal type of gray so awesome animals and as you guys can see it's not a huge difference but they do interact differently in combinations so here we've got the first uh, double recessive uh, black exantic animal we have produced so this is a black exantic hypo and this is an awesome animal. I love what Black Exantic and Hyper does with each other. So as you guys can see, it's, it's got a blue, tin, uh, blue tint to it. So that's the interaction between Black Exantic and Hyper coming together. But look at that awesome head. Um, that's the best aspect of this animal for me, that light grayish, bluish head. That's a real awesome animal. So uh, we're actually working on the Black Exantic project very slowly. Um, I've had the project for around five years now, but I've been working with the project um, each year I've been trying to take it a different direction. So this was the first double recessive animal we produced with Black Exantic. Hopefully this season we'll see it in Pied and in Desert Ghost as well. And then of course all three genes to combine together. Hopefully we'll see the Hyper Black Exantic Pied and then the Hyper DG, um, Hyper DG Black Exantic. Um, we've had our actual opportunities of reproducing the Black Exantic Hyper DG, uh, but unfortunately we've missed the odds each, uh, each season. So this season is a new season and hopefully we will re reproduce the Black Exantic Hyper DG. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys this awesome animal. And like I said, he's a great animal and I love what the Black Exantic and Hyper do when they interact with each other. I think it's one of the best combinations. Last animal we're going to show in this video, she is not a visual black exantic, but she is a visual hypo and she's 66% double head for uh, black exantic and this goes as well. I've actually got a good feeling that this female will prove out to be uh, double head for black exantic and this goes. Um, the male or her father is a hypo double head black exantic DG and he looks identical to this female. So I think she's got a great opportunity to prove out to be head for black exantic and desert ghost so i'm working very hard especially on that project the black exantic desert ghost so hopefully this season i'll show you guys some awesome black exantic desert ghost and they should be visual hypos too 
Um, awesome little girl and I'm super excited to raise her up and prove her out to be either head for Black Exantic or Desert Ghost. And if we are lucky, she'll be a double head for Desert Ghost, uh, Black Exantic as well. So guys, we've got more Black Exantic projects. We've got the triple head, or the, we've got the hyper Black Exantic part project. That project is actually looking very good. The females are actually uh, just on the verge of ovulating. So hopefully in the end of the season, we'll show you guys the triple visual hyper black exantic part. I think that's gonna be an incredible animal and I can't wait to show you guys if we do reproduce that certain animal. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for future content. Mm -hmm.